Today's Season 12 gameplay trailer gave us our first look at Mad Maggie, the new control mode, the changes coming to Olympus, as well as some sick skins coming for the Battle Pass and Collection event. Oh, what's up you guys? I'm not amazing, I'm just mediocre, and we're breaking down everything that we found out in this gameplay trailer. Let's get right into it. First off, we have Control Mode, which is pretty straightforward domination mode like everybody thought it was going to be. You have your three capture points, A, B, and C, and you're going to have to hold those points for an extended period of time in order to reach a score limit with your team. It's going to be 9 versus 9 with an infinite amount of respawns, and it also appears that you're going to be able to select multiple of the same kind of legends as they show multiple pathfinders and multiple rates running across the screen at the same time in addition to the new control mode they're adding a new ratings leader feature where if you're performing well in the game it appears you'll actually get upgrades to your weapons because in control mode you don't buy weapons like arena you don't pick them up off the ground like standard battle royale you pick a kit a weapons kit like you used to be able to pick in the in this most recent winter express game mode so if you want to be able to get the best equipment in control mode you're going to have to perform well by getting kills capturing those points we also got a great look at mad maggie's abilities which have been officially confirmed on the apex legends website we have that tactical officially called the riot drill which can pierce through walls and deliver thermite damage on the other side of them we also saw her ultimate ability, which was the Wrecking Ball, where she can toss out that big giant rolling ball, which is not only going to be able to do damage to enemies, but leaves behind speed boosting pads on the other side of it. And in general, Mad Maggie is a shotgun lover. Her passive ability being able to run with increased speed while carrying shotguns, as well as being able to highlight enemies that she has damaged for a temporary amount of time. So it looks like Mad Maggie is going to be a hyper-aggressive pushing legend that is aiming to flush out enemies from within the confines of their houses. We also got to look at some sick battle pass skins that are coming. It looks like there's going to be something of a, a biker or warlord theme. But beyond that, we got a preview of some of the collection event where it looks like we're going to be getting skins that are matching some of the fan favorite skins that have come in the past. We see skins matching Crypto's Hype Beast uh, outfit. We also see skins matching uh, Fuse's Dread Pirate outfit. So we're gonna have to be we're gonna be able to have entire matching squads with all a similar kind of outfit. Kind of a cool concept. I like that. But even cooler than that, we got a preview of our very first evolving legend skin. They show off at the end of this trailer, Bloodhound with this base white skin. And then as, as Bloodhound continues to get kills, that armor evolves, it grows on him, and changes with every kill that they get. So I'm really excited to get a hold of these skins, to see how this collection event goes, see what this battle pass looks like. I'm super excited to play this new control mode, and I want to get a hold of Mad Maggie, and see how she plays on the battlefield, and how fast she's really going to be able to move. Not only with her shotgun passive, but also with these speed boosting pads that her ultimate leaves behind. If you guys are excited for Season 12, make sure you check out this video that you see on your screen right now, which details the history of Duardo Silva and how he's been setting up his takeover of the Apex games for the last five seasons. In the meantime, I'm not amazing, I'm just mediocre. I'm out.